Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good evening, good evening. What's going on, Moonlit? And <laughs> I am sure she's very appreciative of that right now, 100%. Let me uh, put this all on. I got to put myself on Do Not Disturb here. Done. So we got uh, Michael Ray is going to be with us uh, here shortly. He's getting set up right now. What's going on, Breakout Daily? What is going on? Josh Cunningham, what is going on, brother? Good to see you. We've got uh, Alan Espinoza. What's going on, man? Uh, next week's show, we should be able to have the mighty Kevin on here. Uh, we've got some really cool ideas about what we want to do. So uh, uh, let me see. Let me see who all's in here right now. We've got uh, Comics Hawk Weekly. What's going on, everybody? What is going on? As you guys remember, uh, just remember that uh, up next will be uh, Spine Ticks. We've got some uh, uh, cool stuff today. We, we're going to be reviewing the cosplay shoot with uh, Amy Jo here. So uh, Amy is not here right now. She's up on the slope. I, of course, am rocking this new uh, Goku family hoodie that I'm really proud of. Uh, uh, Jackie's unique boutique over at the base got these bad boys. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Test? Oh, Echo. What's going on, Echo? Hey, what's going on, Lord Chucks? Yeah. Uh, we have three. Uh, uh, well, we have our, our, our two boys, so our two sons. So it kind of represents the boys here, our youngest and our, our oldest. So, really excited about that. All right, let me see here. What do we got? Uh, all right, so Mike is ready. I'm going to run our sponsor real super quick, and then I'll bring Mike on. Our sponsors, the Awakening Espresso, located right here next to the shop. Go get the best drink in town, then hang with us at the shop. EGS Comics Grading Services, we can get them hot custom labels. Michael Ray Photography, our preferred choice for boudoir, Cosplay, couples, all your photo needs. And unleash your inner savage at Frosted Axe Throwing, the only place in town where you don't catch a felony charge with locations in Anchorage and Eagle River. Rep the best shop ever with our swag shop. Go to our website, click swag shop, order the coolest gear, and rep us all over town. And support content like this on our Patreon. Hook it up. Homelight. Do you have a house you need to sell? Maybe a secret lair? Contact Homelight today for all your home selling needs. They got them agents at the ready, so check them out. And of course, Dave Eller Financial Services with Edward Jones. Because unless your name is Tony Stark, you're gonna need Dave Eller, so check him today. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, cause yo, we're, we're hilarious. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to look awesome in a pair of Aegis leggings? Well, make sure when you order, you order a size larger than you normal wear so you don't look like a busted can of biscuits. You never know what someone will look like in one of these pairs of leggings. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So it looks like Mike's having some tech issues, so I'm just waiting on him right now. Uh, he should be on here shortly. Uh, hey, Mike, why don't you give me a thumbs up when you're ready? Oh, I see a thumbs up. All right, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bring it on, Mike. Hey, what's going on, Mike? There we go. All right. Me. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. Okay. So, Mike, welcome to the show, man. Uh, photographer extraordinaire. I, I figure we'll make you blush a little bit with some of your work. Before we do that, guys, don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe. Uh, we also have Mike's link in uh, the description below. Mike is very shy, so he just ran off the camera. Oh, here he comes. He's back again. No, it's, it's and, out of focus. I'm trying to keep it on, on manual so I don't get noise from the lens. Oh, yeah, yeah. No worries. And uh, uh, yeah, Mike's testing out a new camera. Uh, we're both checking out today. And uh, so, uh, reason I have Mike is uh, 
he doesn't know the video that I made right now, but I did. So we did the photo shoot with Amy. Hey, what's going on, Coco? And uh, I actually did a behind the scenes video for this. So I wanted Mike to be on the show watching while uh, uh, while we do that. Uh, here, let me. So, hey, Mike, uh, I'm going to, uh, let me see here. I'll just, all right. So we'll be able to hear you through this, but I'm going to play the video real quick. I hope you guys are ready. And this is the uh, behind the scenes here. And I believe uh, we sh you guys should be able to hear our commentary as we watch. Uh, Amy has not seen this. Come on. Hey guys, and Amy and I are heading to her cosplay shoot right now. So it is Sunday, it is uh, early afternoon, and Amy is getting ready to do her magic. <laughs> I don't look like magic right now. I look like ass, so they can't see me right now. Oh my God. <laughs> so uh, she never looks like ass. As soon as we She's get over to uh, Michael Ray's uh, studio, we'll show you the magic there, give you a little preview. I'll show you the progression. Yeah. <laughs> so there's all the behind the scenes stuff here. All right, guys, here we are. Getting ready to head up to Mike's place. Oh, look at that badass sign by Mike Pro. The only ass was the one I was staring at. I had to check myself. Gamers got game theory packed here. <laughs> I kept the camera pointed at my view instead of the customer view. <laughs> uh, the old stairs. <laughs> they must have been like, look at this macho asshole. He's running with the camera while she's carrying all the, the gear. Camera on public view, not <laughs> my view. <laughs> and here we are at Mike's here. Our makeup artist here. Mike? That's Miss Jungle in the studio. Master of, <laughs> of, of Earthing cosplay. All right. All right. Love it. And What's covered up there is one and a half hours of prep for this. So Amy sat there like a champ for one and a half hours. I literally went downstairs, put in some work, knocking out orders and stuff, and I came up like an hour later, Amy's still putting in that work. So Mike, how did you meet Jessica? Um, she, uh, she, I, to be honest with you, I don't remember. So I had, uh, <laughs> we were at the I, club and I needed my hair done. <laughs> no, I think uh, I never remember. So um, a while back, I did years ago. I did a, a wedding and uh, she was the stylist for it because they were best friends and she actually officiated the wedding. So, ah, and then uh, we were talking during you know hair and makeup for the bride, and and she, uh, I, I was like, oh, you know, do you, do you, would you be interested in being hired? So I, you know, I had a, uh, I hired her for a couple of sessions, and we just clicked, you know, you know professionally. We just, uh, we're both just obnoxious and and uh, work well together, and 
you know, we do our best to make everyone we work with feel amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're a good team. So that is awesome. So I'll start that is awesome. Yeah, we uh, uh, let me raise this volume here for you. Yeah, we were um, answering Coco's question real quick. Uh, Mike literally is upstairs in our old comic book shop. He took over the whole old comic book shop and turned it into a, a, a giant studio, which is awesome. And yeah, she is a veteran too. She's actually a fellow Coastie. So yeah, so really awesome. Mike, I'm really happy that you found her. Uh, I mean, she, I mean, for me, obviously I'm biased. Amy always looks beautiful to me, but uh, I mean, she took her, uh, made her super saiyan for this photo shoot, man. And she just yeah. knew exactly what was needed for it. Oh yeah. And I mean, there's... There, there's a skill set of being personable to be able to have somebody comfortable enough to sit there for over an hour to get their hair done and their makeup done and to remain patient. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, we... So then we get to the cool stuff here. That one was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, this was funny here. You can watch how Amy just starts getting into her groove as it goes along. Yeah, exactly. I, you know I'm a tech guy you know novice of course just the the equipment that you have and everything else how did you figure out uh, what was the appropriate equipment for these types of photo shoots I mean was it just were you going to conferences was it just research or did you go to school or something else uh, so so the overhead light um, I, I've done I've, I've done a couple of workshops one of them he uses a uh, artificial light for outside work and just well in general just different types of lighting to uh enhance what he his, his workflow and uh so the overhead lighting I, I you know i learned how to use properly um from uh the photographer i did uh jason lanier back here shoot that was like 20 2016, 2015, something like that. I know it was a while ago. Um, yeah, so he came up here, and that's where I learned uh, how to use the, the overhead light a little bit better. The side lighting, I just kind of picked up through uh, him and through just learning from other photographers online. And, and uh, you know, there's different applications. There's so many different applications for how you can use your light modifiers and right. your lights. And stuff. Uh, so as far as the way, like in the video with uh, Amy's set, Using it like that, um, you know, I haven't seen too many photographers that use their lights like that. So that was actually sort of a, uh, you know, everything I do is just, not everything, but, you know, learning everything, it does a lot of trial and error. And, uh, right. Try different, try different lighting setups and you find something that you really like and, and you just kind of incorporate that with, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever application you need. And so like in this case, you know, I'm using the front light to light her, but then I'm using the two back lights to light the front of her from the other end. So it gives a sort of a, a hair light and a, lights yeah. up over the shoulders. Gotcha. So it's, it's all methodical, you know, and, uh, and like something like this is completely different. So I'm, like here, I flip the lights the other way. And, so I'm basically brightening up the back end of the backdrop just to give it that white background because uh, when you're doing like some of the like these, I'm doing composite work for some of them. 
and uh, creating some sort of cool fantasy world with her fantasy type shot with uh, with her and I have honestly found that it's easier to use a white background. Uh, the whole green screen is great for video, but when right. you're trying to use it for photos, it's absolutely horrible. So, so I use a white background. That's it's the most neutral one I can use. Um, but yeah, that's so that's why I flipped the 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 rear one backwards. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, she did that right during this change out and uh breakout yeah. daily yeah we're looking at june to get the other titles i mean uh we're we're gonna be getting idw and stuff here real soon yeah this is a lot of fun too the punisher yeah. stuff oh, I, yeah. I i like more gritty and grungy type stuff yeah. so um the wonder woman's cool marvel and dc the whole both universe you know the yeah Fun, but man, Punisher. I mean, I like the Punisher, and so having Lady Punisher, having Amy as the Punisher, that's just that's just, it's, it's just badass, right? Like you can't, you know, <laughs> that that grungy, gritty type stuff is just it's just a lot of fun. So that and that and with the with the the different work that I do, I mean, you know, I'm it, my my business is to empower women for the most part, and uh, right, you know this. Other way of empowerment is making them look like a badass. <laughs> don't don't f with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the sound, the music I'm using right now is from Epidemic Sound. Uh, we have a link to their uh, to their website so that you can get your own account for Epidemic Sound. It's all copyright free music. If you wanna avoid any copyright strikes while you're monetizing your videos, that is. Uh, the premiere where you go pretty much uh, the majority of youtubers use epidemic sound that's gonna be a cool shot with that one that you just saw I, I got a couple cool ideas for that one so oh yeah we're excited about that just wait buddy yeah <laughs> Yeah, Amy had those uh, comic book shoes, which are badass. Yeah. And yeah, it was seven hours, seven hours for this show, uh, for yeah. this uh, for this shoot. Obviously, this this video is not seven hours long. I I clipped a lot and fast forwarded, but yeah, it was seven hours the whole shoot. Yeah, between what between hair and makeup and the photo shoot. And the photo shoot it was seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like this too. I got a few ideas for too as well. I think you're gonna like some of the other Punisher. Ones, so, um, so have you seen? Uh, you know the um, what is it? The the Deadpool poster. Uh, there's a photographer named uh, Michael Muller. He does a lot of the uh, big Hollywood movie posters for like Marvel and stuff yep. like that. Um, and works with a lot of the celebrities. The, you know the Deadpool poster where he's laying on the chair and he's pushing himself up and he's got the bullets yeah. showering him and bullets. The, essentially the flash <laughs> that, that that's my background here yeah so he he yeah. he, should, he did that poster and, oh uh, okay so I have a lady Deadpool up in Anchorage that I'm basically I put one of those together for and I'm thinking of something like that for Amy for that person a couple of those shots oh where yeah she's, uh, where she's got the gun pose you know across right. the board and stuff like that just having her basically standing there in a hail of, of gunfire <laughs> so. yeah uh, that was a long time ago brother a long time ago you and I both <laughs> that was high school days I think yeah Mike uh, you, your, your style I could see I as I was there watching you, your imagination just kicking in. It was just fantastic to watch you at work. Oh yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I get I get yeah. You know the ideas come during the photo shoot, and then they you know the other parts of them 
cut during the editing and I just kind of piece it all together like a damn puzzle. Yeah, you killed oh. it here. That was so awesome. And then the sexy wall. Yeah. The sexy wall scene. That was dope, man. Which is pretty cool because they usually have my boudoir clients, you know, in this area. So to have the Punisher there was that's yeah, that's sick, dope. So. I think we only had one, uh, uh, one or two uh, 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 wardrobe malfunctions, so that wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah. Not, uh, it, went, it all went pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah, you you killed it, man. Ah, oh, the wink. <laughs> she got me the wink again. That's Lou's kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, that's my kryptonite right there. And then uh, we had forgotten to do the white gloves, so she got in there and did the white gloves real quick. You know what? The white gloves are pretty sick. So yeah. I got some stuff. And that was the and that was the uh uh. That was the motivation for uh, uh that one there. Yeah. Uh, you killed it, man. I'll take I'll take Amy's yeah. cover over that one all day long. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I like how uh, I I pers the whip. I I prefer to uh, like the one from yeah. the original was cool and everything, but uh, you know even with the different outfits and stuff like that, Amy's hair, the makeup, the styling, everything came came together really well. And uh, getting the whip to light up like I did for it, it makes it pop a little bit more than the uh, original cover. So yeah. Um, I don't know, like the like I've said before, my my mindset when I'm doing the creative stuff like this is to, uh, you know, like Michael Moeller and um, you know, there's so many photographers out there, but like some of the big ones that do a lot of the Hollywood stuff, you know, that's where I get some of my my inspiration from is is from some of these other photographers and just movies in general and just trying right. to take somebody you know sp sp you know, here and locally in in town and and basically make them look and feel like they're on some sort of Hollywood magazine or poster or, you know, movie box, something like that. So, Oh yeah. A hundred percent. And there's uh, a theatrical element to everything. So yeah, the, 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 you, you absolutely embodied that whole thing there. Uh, I really love what you did wow. there. Uh, I know Amy and I were both smiling the whole time. The whole way home, we were smiling. I mean, yeah. it was just fantastic, man. You you made it a very uh, comfortable and uh, 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 you made what in our minds, you know, would have been impossible possible. And you know, yeah. you, you brought that vision out there, which is fantastic. And I definitely am gonna get some of those uh, uh, done up so that we can uh, uh, have them at the shop on the wall. Uh, along yeah. with the uh, uh, the one that we currently have, I mean, I absolutely love that man. Uh, <laughs> Ab, she said, "Love you like fat kids love cake, <laughs> man." <laughs> oh my God, yeah, Mike, man, you, you. I don't know where you learned uh, to establish the rapport that you do with, uh, especially the female clients, but, uh, wow. you nailed it, man. It was an honor to watch you at work. Uh, that was the first time actually watching you, uh, from beginning to end. And I, I swear I, I, I could see smoke sometimes coming from the top of your head and it wasn't out of anger. It was out of you. You had those wheels turning, those creative wheels turning yeah. at all times, man. Yeah, uh, you absolutely, uh, 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 your, your, your creativity really shined in this, man. We really appreciate it. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. and, and, and for those of you guys that, uh, are considering doing something like this, you can book with Michael Ray. We have his link in the description. Uh, it's affordable. It's definitely worthwhile. Uh, we're going to have Amy on the show here in a couple of days, you know, when she gets back from the slope and uh, Amy will be able to really talk about, you know, the, the voyage to get to this point. I mean, people don't just 
that I'm aware of anyway, people don't just wake up one day and they're like, dude, I'm going to do, I'm going to do cosplay. That's not how that works, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, there, there's, I, I tip my hat to people that do this, especially the cosplay, uh, because, uh, it takes, it does take a level of, of courage to, uh, get out of your comfort zone just to do the show and then to be willing to share it uh with others is just another level hell i'm considering doing nfts on some of these right now man uh, <laughs> i'll have to i'm gonna have to hit up uh i'm gonna have to hit up a uh, 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 sith lordly so he could teach me how to do that stuff but uh i'm definitely uh considering doing some nfts on this uh guys uh please if you haven't already please check out mike check him out on instagram uh he's available there you can book right from the his bio on uh, Instagram. You can also check him out on his website. Uh, he, uh, we recommend no one else but him. Plain and simple. Uh, Mike, man, you're awesome. Uh, what do you got coming up next? Uh, I'm just I'm just playing catch up. I don't have a I don't have a lot quite yet, other than a, um, probably plans with Comic Con if it all goes through. So I haven't. I haven't talked to uh, the folks with Comic Con since the last meeting we had, so I'm just you know, we've got a couple months. What April? So yeah, uh, it's a little bit of time. But we got the Fairbanks one coming up uh, in uh, yeah. what, next week or something. We we're yeah. we're uh, we had uh, paid for sponsorship for that like a year and a half ago, and we just never asked yeah. for a refund, so we've stayed as the sponsor, or one of the sponsors, but I don't think we're yeah. going to be able to make it up. It's just, uh, uh, it was bad timing. They rescheduled the thing, I think, three, four times already. We just couldn't do it, so. Uh, okay. I do uh, pride myself on the fact that uh, this was our first Comic-Con that you attended, uh, our Wasilicon, and not only did we do it on schedule, but... Uh, uh, I think it was pretty successful. So, I mean, uh, I I hope that... Now, granted, no, I take that back. I, I'm going to stand by that, that statement because we had a good number of guests, too, that we had to fly up and get up here. You know, that we had uh, artist allies come up. We had uh, Otto from the Grotto, Three Men in the Basement, come up. We were able to make it happen. We were able to make it happen on schedule. So... I think where there's a will, there's a way. I also think that location is a big thing. Uh, for our Alaska audience, the Matsu Valley is probably the most convention-friendly community in the state of Alaska. So you guys should consider if you're going to come out here either to Wasilla, Palmer, uh, check out Everett's, uh, who was very, that they were very gracious with us during our Comic-Con. And... Uh, once again, uh, Mike, where can they see your stuff? Uh, also on Instagram, correct? To see all uh, the empower uh, yeah. and everything. So yeah. Instagram, um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, my website. So I have the uh, MikeRayPhotography.com. I got the Facebook group. Yeah, so pretty much those three. Um, mm -hmm. I've thought about joining other, other social media platforms just to – expand reach so we'll see we'll yeah. see how they go you know some people that have all jumped onto them and uh, i haven't heard anybody's feedback on how good they are so but so right now those three i have a twitter but i'm not <laughs> fuck twitter twitter's twitter, twitter is, is way too toxic uh yeah. uh i would say i mean we auto post on twitter yeah. but i don't check twitter uh yeah. what uh we are currently on instagram youtube facebook we got on getter uh i don't know how much longer i'm gonna stay on there uh what, i don't have the comic shop on there i have the real estate on there but uh uh i'm i don't like the vibe on that platform right now uh joe rogan recommended it and i'm i'm not really feeling the vibe on there right now so i, I probably okay. just won't maintain an account there and a lot of people are insisting that you do uh uh, uh yeah i agree coco twitter is a absolutely a uh a cesspool man uh but uh, uh if you, yeah just a toxic like, cesspool uh, like yeah. uh you know oh, linkedin the, uh, linkedin linkedin is the other one that everyone just keeps LinkedIn, pushing on LinkedIn yeah. Too as well. Yeah. yeah well linkedin yeah, is converting like, yeah. oh, are they? 
Yeah, uh, link, uh, LinkedIn is starting to move towards the Facebook model in terms of uh, allowing you to put a lot of content on there. Uh, okay. I don't know that I'll ever pay for a subscription on there, at least not anytime soon. Maybe I will in the future because uh, uh, I don't need those type of statistics right now. But uh, I, I'm sorry I interrupted yeah. you on Twitter. I, I, I think I think we all agree, though, that Twitter's kind of trash right now. It's just a place where bullies hang out on. Oh yeah, no. You know where? Uh, you know in uh, God, what's the movie? It's the uh, the DC one with uh, the Justice League. When uh, the who, who's the bad guy? The big bad guy? I can't remember his name. Oh, uh, I seen it. oh, Dark Side. Yeah, basically his whole army. You know the all the all the demon looking guys and stuff like that. Yeah. It is just like it's the end of the world looking. Like that's what Twitter is to me. Like, when you look at Twitter, that's, that's, and everything is just eating itself. And yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's Twitter. Yeah, Twitter is definitely the uh, the uh, uh, the mouth breathers, uh, uh, bully bullies, the the all the people that received the pat on the back and got cheered on for getting ninth place. The, those yeah. guys are all on Twitter. Uh, those are the guys that are uh, uh, making the most static on Twitter. It, it I, I guess, like uh, Bill Burr and all these guys, they jump on Twitter when they just want when they just want to troll and get people <laughs> spun up. up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, guys, uh, we appreciate you taking the time to come on to the show tonight. Uh, we appreciate you checking out uh, Amy's uh, photo shoot. Uh, we did that so that you guys can see the behind the scenes and how much work it took, but that it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, I encourage people to to if if you love the hobby and you 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 feel pot uh, or you feel like you need to do something like that, do it, man. Don't don't wait. Just do it. Contact Mike yeah. or your local photographer in the lower forty eight that does this stuff and just do it, man. It it was fun. It was a workout. Clearly, you know, uh, yeah. I, I was tired just that. watching, and Amy was, you know, doing all the poses and everything else. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Amy should do some sign prints, huh? But uh, I think we should do some NFTs for sure. But uh, all right, guys, we appreciate you. We appreciate your time. We know that uh, you guys are getting ready for spine ticks, and of course, uh, many of you are getting warmed up for. Super Bowl tomorrow. Who you got for Super Bowl tomorrow? Do you have any choices or do you care? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's a Super Bowl? Yeah, ah, that's all we needed to hear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't do yeah. sports. Uh, no, I, 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 I might, I'm, I'm too damn busy uh, to sit yeah. down long enough. To, it's hard to watch a movie with my wife because I'm, I'm just – you know, like I will be sitting there and she'll be watching the stuff and I'll just be going at it, editing and doing all this stuff. You know, I just, I, I don't know. I, and especially for football, I just, I couldn't get into it. I've, you know, I saturate myself with work since I started working and it hasn't changed even doing this. It's just gotten worse. So I'll well, stick to, I'll stick to work. Everybody I got you, man. Enjoy I your <laughs> tip and chip and beer i'll take the beer and uh i'll just yeah i don't you know what we need opinions. to do i don't even know who's playing i don't know anything well so. i'll tell you right now that my goal at one point is to fly uh 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 for amy's sake i'm gonna fly moonlit and uh uh cobra command gal up here for a photo shoot with you oh, one of these days okay man. cobra command gal dominates the cobra look man and uh, okay. uh i think I think that uh, that would be a fun shoot. I think we should just sponsor and bring her up here and do that. So uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to get that worked out with Amy. And we also have another surprise shoot that uh, we're going to hit you up with. I think you're going to be super excited about. So, And then, of course, we got to drag Moonlit up here as well, man. Uh, Moonlit. But I think that's going to happen anyway at one point. I think Amy already has a diabolical plan for that. But... Guys, thank you. Check out Spine Ticks and check out Mike's link in the description. We will see you next week. I will have Kevin on the show next week, and that should be interesting. Hopefully, we don't get banned, but we'll go for it. All right, guys. Take care. Good night. <laughs> Bye, guys.